ha ha! Detective Shelfie in the house! I've been calling for this card to get added to the game all year. Bryce Harper is one of the best swings in Diamond Dynasty. I am not just hype about this because I am a fanboy, but because the card flat out rakes, he's gonna be a monster and I'm so excited. We're getting MVP Bryce Harper in MLB The Show 20. If you didn't know, today is National Baseball Card Day. Today, MLB The Show decided to do a little promo to celebrate National Baseball Card Day by giving us a free bundle in MLB The Show. On their Twitter account, they posted a graphic that had a ton of different diamonds that are in the game on the graphic in the background. You're looking at that graphic right now, but if you look at the bottom of the graphic, there is an MVP card, or at least what we think is the beginning of an M over on the left, an MVP card underneath of Carlos Correa, Kenny Lofton, and Jackie Robinson. Now they intentionally did this. That card is currently not in the game. It is a card that we don't know about. That's why they're blocking most of it. They do stuff like this on Twitter all the time. They'll put little Easter eggs out, little hints to try and get us excited about upcoming content. Usually though, it's almost like they tell us that it's a hint. Like with the inning bosses, sometimes they'll do little promo videos where you have to listen to different sounds or calls and they never actually show the player on the screen and you have to go off of the sound and whatever little visuals they throw up and you have to try and figure it out. I actually think it's a lot of fun. They do this with pretty much every new card. This is a new way of dropping an Easter egg that I haven't seen them do and it's just pretty much like, hey, look, here's this new card. See if you can figure it out. Well, <laughs> guess what? We figured it out. As you can see on that card, it is a white uniform with the red stripe down the side. Could be the Red Sox, could be the Braves, could be the Nationals. We don't know for sure, right? Now they tried to throw us off because that is a left-handed glove, but it looks like it's on the right hand. But in reality, that is actually a left-handed glove being held by the right hand. We not only found an image of Bryce Harper from 2015 matching the uniforms and the arm sleeve and what looks like a similar glove, we dug a little bit deeper, me and my Twitter folks, and we found the exact picture that they are using on that card art. Let me just say that Bryce Harper blowing this gigantic bubble on his bubble gum while he waits for what's probably a pitching change or something to happen. This is going to be a sick card design. That is absolutely what design. I mean, that's it. It's, it's MVP Harper. We figured it out. We found the image. We know it's coming, SDS. If you don't already know, the seventh inning program, we're gonna have new inning bosses. It comes out on Friday. Now my, if I were to guess right now, I would say that it's probably seventh inning program. It's most likely gonna be one of the three new cards in the seventh inning program. I'm okay with that because then people are gonna be able to get them for free. I'm obviously gonna buy them as soon as someone finishes the program and get gameplay up. I will have gameplay up of that Bryce Harper this weekend. If it comes out on Friday, I'm putting that video up either Saturday afternoon or Saturday night it's happening i'm staying up late so let's talk about mvp bryce harper are you new to mlb the show why am i so excited about this card there's so many people out there you either love bryce harper or you hate bryce harper personally i love bryce harper i think he plays the game with that fire and that energy and that just that grit that you want out of everyone on your baseball your favorite baseball team what kind of players do you want you want gritty guys that go out there and play their hardest every day that's bryce harper he has this little bit of a stigma around him some media members have almost labeled him as like a douchebag a lot of people think he's cocky and arrogant i've met him in person totally not true meeting bryce harper at the cover shoot for mlb the show 19 was really cool had great conversation with him just solidified the fact that he's just an awesome player and an awesome dude could not like bryce harper anymore so excited that this card is coming to the game what are your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think of this bryce harper mvp card we got to see what the other choices are going to be in the inning program if it is the inning program could be a br reward could be some crazy new program. They dropped all that content this weekend. You never know what SCS is gonna do, but if I was a betting man, I would say he's gonna be a part of the seventh inning program. What do you think his stats are gonna look like? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look at the other MVP Bryce Harper cards that have been in MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty in the last few years. Remember, when they announce MLB The Show every year and they announce the cover boy, they usually do the same promo every year where if you download the next game, they'll give you a card of that cover boy in the current game. So for example, I could pre-order MLB The Show 19 when they announced Bryce Harper was on the cover and they gave us a 99 overall Bryce Harper in 18 for pre-ordering the game and it was a card to use for the rest of the year. They did the same thing with Javier Baez last year. If you pre-ordered MLB The Show 20, you got a 99 overall Javier Baez to use in MLB The Show 19. They will most likely do the same thing when they announce the cover boy for 21. We're gonna be able to pre-order it and get a 99 in MLB The Show 20. 
by the way, would be really cool if we could prestige that card. SCS, if you're listening, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So what I have here are the stats from MLB The Show 17. This was the hardware 2015 MVP Bryce Harper that they put in MLB The Show 17. He had 97, 94 contact, 99, 91 power with 57 vision. Now keep in mind, that game capped at 99 so that 99 power versus right was the highest that power could possibly go if they're going to replicate that exactly in this new card that means that he would have 125 power versus right now what we are looking at is the mlb the show 18 version of this mvp bryce harper this was the first year where stats went past 99 it was actually a 95 overall this was that pre-order card i was talking about if you pre-ordered mlb the show 19 they gave you this card on mlb the show 18 stats for 103, 112, and then 94, 83 versus left. Don't ask me why power versus left went down, even though the stat cap went up. They did the same thing with Jimmy Rollins' signature series card and MLB The Show 20. I think it's the weirdest thing. But nonetheless, this is pretty much what this card could potentially look like in MLB The Show 20. I think they should give them a little bit better lefty-lefty than they did in MLB The Show 18. Now, on MLB The Show 19, we didn't get that hardware Bryce Harper, but we did get a finest Bryce Harper, but that was based off of last season. The stats on that card were also insane. As you can tell, I'm very excited. He's just always one of my favorite cards in the game. And this year, we've only had his live series to use, which has inverted stats, and it's not, it's not the Bryce Harper card we've come to know over the years in Diamond Dynasty. I thought this was video worthy, though, man. I, I, how could you not be excited about this? Detective Shelfie. At it again. I always figure out the inning program bosses on Twitter. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, you definitely want to do that to stay up to date on MLB The Show stuff. I am always, I'm always doing exactly this, slithering through everything that MLB The Show posts to try and find little things that maybe they're hinting at us. And today, they definitely were hinting at us, and we figured it out. MVP Bryce Harper coming soon. I don't know what, I don't know what the stats are going to look like. I'm hoping they look a lot like that pre-order card from a few years ago, but boost the lefty lefty a little bit more than that. Hundred plus power. Power on both sides would be awesome. You know, he's gonna have crazy good arm strength. Probably gonna be an end game outfielder. There's so many options this year, especially with the additions of Mickey Mano and Larry Walker and Gary Sheffield can go out there. There's so many options. We got MVP Mike Trout early in the year this time around. So there's so many options this year, but depth, 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 and I love keeping things fresh, trying new guys. I'll absolutely get that Bryce Harper card as soon as possible. A Mickey Mantle, Bryce Harper, Mike Trout outfield? Come on, man. Come on. Oh man, that's just, that's, that's it for me. That's it for, that's what we're rocking out with for the rest of the year. So make sure you go down below, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Anything maybe you want to add to this conversation? Thoughts on stats? Is he going to make your squad? What players would you like, if he is in the inning program, if he's a part of the seventh inning program, who else would you like them to see included in that? I think it would be really cool if they just did an awards winner set. What if it was three MVP cards? What if we also got MVP Mookie Betts and MVP Chris Bryant, I don't know, there's already a Chris Bryant, but MVP Mookie Betts, who else? Who would you like to see in that inning program? What do you think the theme will be? If there's even gonna be a theme. Probably gonna take Bryce Harper. If I don't, I'll buy him, buy him as quick as I can. Like I said, I will have gameplay up on this channel. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, guys. Dropping a little bit of a um, fun little, little video today, man. Getting you guys excited for content to come. It's 100, it's not officially confirmed, but I just, unless they change something, we, we figured it out. We're not, we didn't just find, uh, oh, well this, it kind of looks like him. I'm pretty sure that's him. No, we found the image. We found the image that they are using on the card. It's him. It's Bryce Harper, 100%. Catch you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed, I'm out. Peace.